It took everyone a while to catch on, but the audiences have been driving uh, the direction that movies go in for quite some time now. And I think that Comic-Con is just a stark reminder that um, fans first. Avengers even, I think, surprised us to a certain extent. Um, looking back on it, you can kind of dissect why it was the, the right movie with the right people, the right director at the right time. And, and we feel the same way ab about this now. Um, I feel that, um, that Rhodey and Tony had not entirely been explored as much as they might be. And, uh, and that in the, in the comics was always a big part of, and, and to me, some, a heart of what was great about it. And also, we try to be practical in a post-Avengers world. What are his challenges now, and what are some limitations that might be placed on him, and what sort of threat would have him, as usual, ignore those limitations? We just kept thinking about what, is it, what would it really be like if this guy was in this country, and where else could he go in this country, and what sorts of themes and backdrops could we explore? And I think that uh, if you look to the history of the, the films that Shane's written, and he's directed, um, there's, a real, there's a real desire for me, just as someone who loves movies, to a hearkening back to some of those um, themes in, in mainstream films. My question's for Robert. Thank what you. Did, how does it feel to be a hero in all the movies? Great question. <laughs> <laughs> this better be a great answer. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I think I speak for uh, any of us who get to, you know, live in this world. And, and uh, there was just one of these uh, photo things, a bunch of kids, I think you may have participated, showed up as, as Iron Man. There was a couple of war machines there. And there's something about it that you just go, wow, what a great opportunity. So it is a, um, I don't know, it's, a, it's an odd thing, you know. Uh, I take it as seriously as Shakespeare. <laughs>